So, um, I really don't know what this video is going to be about, but I'll... What is up, y'all? My name is Jay, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know, I am a real estate agent out here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And so, if you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home out here in Hawaii, feel free to connect with me with my socials down below, and I'll help you guys out. Anyways, before we get started with the video, I just ask you hit that like button and subscribe for me. Thank you. Around the country, redevelopment is kicking and booming in cities and towns. Specifically, here on Oahu, Kaka'ako is seeing the butt of it all. You try and try and enter the lotteries and every single time you get passed up. Well, what if there was a way you can get a condo and not break your bank? That's because I'm talking about not moving to Kaka'ako. What are you talking about, Willis? Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't move to Kaka'ako. Personally, I love the Kaka'ako Ward area. I'm there like maybe two to three times a week. My favorite coffee is there, my favorite bar is there. Who doesn't love it? Kaka'ako is the up and coming neighborhood with nice and fancy new restaurants, bars, and other entertainment. And they're right across the street from Honolulu Beach Park. All I'm presenting to you today is a great alternative if you don't want to break that bank and go all squid games over a unit. So today I'm going to show you three condo units that aren't too far from the Kaka'ako, Ward, and Ala Moana areas. These condo units are in all different conditions, from major renovations needed, to some light work, or move-in ready. Then finally, we'll go over some advantages and disadvantages that comes with going with a older condo unit versus a new build. Our first two condo units that we're going to take a look at is in the Punchbowl neighborhood and only about five minutes away from where all the action is. Mom, if you're seeing this right now, uh, I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. So I just got to the second spot that I wanted to show you guys, but I don't want to do it dirty and actually show you the spot. Like, I mean, it's $210,000. I know why now. Even if we're on the 10th floor of this building, it feels like I'm in a basement. Like, look how dark this is. I'm not gonna show you the rest because honestly, this is some scary sh. All right, uh, I don't want to be in here much longer. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna get possessed by Bloody Mary or something if I stare in this mirror. So I'll see you guys at the next spot. To be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, so I think I found it. I was walking the complete opposite direction. Too, because you know what happened finally we'll go over some advantages and disadvantages that comes with going with a older condo unit versus a new build first advantage that we have is that it's tangible 
what you see is what you get you're able to go and visit the condo before you buy it and you can see yourself imagining how big the kitchen living room the bedrooms and what you could do with the place versus a new build you don't exactly know what you're getting sure there's a pamphlet sure there may be a sales gallery that you can walk around in but it's not exactly your unit number two it's ready to be moved into I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. If you bought a new build, sometimes you're waiting one, two, and even maybe three or more years to even move into your spot. One eternity later. Versus in a resale or an older condo unit, you can move in as soon as you want to, as long as escrow says it's okay to. Number three, there's more options and more room to negotiate. Versus a resale, you're competing with maybe hundreds, thousands of other people to get into that building. Older units and resales, the buyer's options are just unlimited. Also, the buyer has more negotiability in a sale. They're able to look up comps and see what exactly has been sold in the building versus in a new condo. Prices are probably already fixed. Now let's go over some of the disadvantages of going with a resale condo versus going with a new condo. Number one, it's not new. Technically, your resale condo is a hand-me-down and now it's yours for a taking. In a new condo, everything's brand spanking new. The appliances, it probably even smells really new. Number two, resale condos usually have higher maintenance fees than they do the new condos and new builds. Like I went over in my last videos, sometimes there's higher maintenance fees and special assessments that goes towards these condos because they need to catch up and make improvements to the building. And since part of the maintenance fees goes towards actually maintaining the building, it makes sense that they'd be higher compared to a new building. And often in new condominiums, they have more than just fitness centers, pools, they even have movie theaters, workspaces, living rooms, and even more places that you can enjoy with friends. Versus an older condominium, sometimes you just have a pool and maybe a barbecue spot. I realize after some places don't even have a pool or barbecue spot, so. Go figure. Lastly, number three, renovations may be required. Now, depending on who you are and what type of person you are, if you're like most people and don't have the time to do renovations, you want something that's move-in ready, and most resale condos don't have that. Sometimes you'll get lucky with resale condos and you'll see that they have modern renovations with brand new appliances, but not all resale condos will have that. Now, these advantages and disadvantages may vary depending on where you're living, what neighborhood you're looking at, or even the building. And now that brings us to the end of our video. And if you think I missed something, which I probably did, let me know down below in the comments. I probably missed some other things, but these are the things that I thought I should mention. So what do you think? Would you go for a resale versus a new build? Finally, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be making more videos and that's pretty much it. Peace.